today the medical science has reached a level, uh, Sadhguru, we really do not have to touch the patient. When I see a patient in my office, he would have undergone all kinds of tests. Yes. Everything is done, all the images are displayed, history is written, everything is planned. Technically, I can see the reports and tell the patient, okay, you need a bypass or you need valve replacement. But I always make it a point to take my stethoscope, put it on the chest, listen to the heart, look at the patient's eyes, put my hand around on his shoulders, touch the patient, and then explain to them what is going on and talk to the family. I personally feel that touch is the, has the most healing power than anything else what we have invented. Do you believe in that, uh, Swamiji? See, what is not understood is, yes, one part of us is mechanical, but there are other dimensions. Most of the time, the mechanical part has gone wrong because we have not tended to the other dimensions. So what is lacking in their life is, their life is not touched. Not necessarily a physical touch, it's just a manifestation. Essentially, their life is not touched by anything. When I say touched by anything, it need not necessarily be a relationship. You can be touched by so many things. Uh, I don't know how many of you, uh, when was the last… Uh, how many decades ago did you watch a sunrise? <laughs> uh, or a sunset or a moonrise? I'm saying not touched by anything. When was it the last time you waited for a flower to bloom? No such thing. When is the last time you paid an attention to a butterfly or a leaf or a flower or another human being? You're of course, <laughs> you don't like faces, you like the Facebook <laughs> I'm saying contact with life, whether it's human, animal, plant life or just elements around you, just that. How many people even take a moment to even look at the food that they're going to consume with a little bit of involvement or are they touched by it? No. So at last, either a doctor has to touch it or in the end, the underca undertaker will touch you. <laughs> you know, somebody <laughs> will touch you, things gone bad, somebody has to touch you. So does touch have a relevance? Tremendous relevance. Touch need not always be physical, it can be in so many different ways. If you are not touched by life, you are a dying life, you are not a living life. It may happen to you after some time, but it's happening, you're in progression. Because what you call as life, even in the physical level, it's a, it's a medical knowledge for everybody now, the number of cells you have is more than the number of stars in the Milky Way, okay? Every day, over six hundred million billion cells are dying and new cells are being born. That means every second, Ten million cells are dying and ten million new cells are born in your body. If you just take… leave the old one, old guys. If you just take charge of this new ten million cells every… every second that's coming up in your body, if you structure them properly, create them properly, if you have some say in how they will happen, if you have some influence as to how these fresh cells are born, your heart should be fixed, your brain should be fixed, everything should be fixed because that is the level of opportunity you have to rejuvenate your life second to second. But because you're totally oblivious to life, when I say oblivious to life, I want you to look at this. Right now, you cannot even call yourself as a living being because most of the time, what is happening with you is just thought and emotion. Thought and emotion is just psychological drama. It is no existential relevance. Here, a thousand people can sit here and live in thousand different worlds right now. That means nobody is in reality. Nobody is living, everybody is thinking about life. Psychological space, what happens? 
has unfortunately overtaken the existential process of life. You do not experience life, you're only thinking and reacting to situations around you. Thought and emotion is dominating everything. So right now, today morning, sun came up on time. You don't think much about that, okay, so what? <laughs> Now you need to understand, if sun does not come up tomorrow morning, within eighteen hours all life on this planet will largely cease as we know it. So I'm telling you, sun came up on time today morning. I want to hear appropriate noises. Yeah. None of the planets in this solar system collided today. In the whole universe, no accidents. In this endless cosmos, no accidents, everything going right. But you have one nasty little thought crawling in your head and it's a bad day <laughs> I'm saying you completely lost perspective with life. You lost perspective as to who you are. It's a kind of madness. So once you lose perspective as to who you are and what is your… Sp what is your space and status in this exist existence, you are a sickness by nature. It's not the doctor has to diagnose you, it's already on. One day it will manifest to a point where his instruments or his touch will tell him, but it's already on, the process is on. When it goes beyond a point, he'll give you a prescription or a surgery, but the process is on, you're working hard towards it <laughs>